Hey everybody, this is Aaron with Automated Batting Cages, and in this video we're going to go over how to troubleshoot a machine that will not stop pitching. So let's go. So you have a machine that will not stop pitching after its program number of pitches. So what we have here is our PT4 light box, and what you're going to want to do is locate the ball count micro switch inside the baseball or softball chute. It's usually located in the opening in the chute. One of the first things you're going to want to check is to make sure that the tang of the micro switch is bent up far enough that it picks up every ball as it rolls over. So what you can do is stick a ball in the chute, put your hand on the other end, and just listen for the click and make sure that every time you roll it over, you get that click. So if the machine is still not counting pitches correctly, we're going to want to take a look at the ball count micro switch. For this example, I'm going to remove the micro switch from the chute. It's just two screws and two nuts. And so what you have here is the standard ball count micro switch. There's going to be two wires going to it, one of them common or ground, one of them is going to be hot. So what we're going to want to do is take our multimeter and set it to DC voltage to test the switch. Now at all times the light box outputs 5 volts DC to this ball count micro switch. So what we're going to do is take our test leads and touch them to where the wires screw into the micro switch and we should see approximately 5 volts. Right here we're getting 5.1. Now, if you're not getting voltage to the ball count micro switch, you may have a bad wire going to the micro switch. It could have been damaged by a ball coming through the netting. So you're going to want to check that if you do not have voltage there. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that the switch is actuating when the lever is depressed. So what you can do is, again, touch your test leads to the wires, and then just press the switch. And we should see approximately zero volts. Uh, it might be a little bit higher than that. But when we see that, we know that the micro switch is actuating properly and it's working. So another way we can check the ball count micro switch is we can test it for continuity. And what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to remove the wires. Now the ball count micro switch is wired as normally open, which is inscribed on the bottom of the switch. There's a common, a normally open, and a normally closed. We're using the normally open position. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take our test leads of our multimeter, and we're going to switch the multimeter to the ohms or continuity position, which is this spot that looks like a horseshoe. And now we're going to take our test leads, and we're going to touch it to the common and the normally open position on the ball count micro switch. And from there, the multimeter should read OL, which is open lead. That means we have no connection there. And so if you depress the micro switch, it should drop out to less than one ohm, pretty close to zero. Right now we're getting 0 0.1. 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 is normal on these. If the ball count micro switch tests fine, you may have an issue with the wiring going from the ball count micro switch to the PT4 light box itself, or you may have an issue somewhere else down the line. In that case, it would be a good idea to give us a call. That's it for this video on the ball count micro switch. Thank you for watching this video and other videos like it, and we'll see you on the next one.